revisiting the market tents I made a while back. I have this pre-made market tent I got from like a Wiz Kids set, and I really admired how small the beams are on the Wiz Kids set. I like how it implies the, the size of the miniatures. So I'm gonna make my own little market. I'm gonna redo some of my market stalls. And I'm gonna go ahead and make the alleyway as well. So first up, just throw a uh, previous build just to give it a, a context for this alleyway market. Rough it up the terrain a bit. Nothing looks more unnatural than a perfectly flat surface and an excuse to use fire. Wetting it a bit just so that the foam clay will stick to the surface. Water acts sort of like an adhesive and a lubricant for this stuff, which is interesting. Good old roller textures. Good old weird water sounds on roller textures. Using the method in my previous build, the City Streets one. I take a lot of pleasure in trimming off the excess with a knife. Just so clean. Okay, so I had a bunch of pre-made, pre-painted pieces from Tiny Furniture. They have a really excellent painting studio. It takes a long time for the work to be done, obviously, but I got it as a birthday present to myself a while back. And I haven't used it until now, but I thought, I would like to make a food truck. Well, the medieval equivalent of a food truck. And surprisingly, they, I guess I shouldn't be surprised, they existed back then, and also they're just wagons with ovens on them. So... I'm just modifying a wagon to put an oven on it. It was really fun to use some of these pre-made pieces and kit bash them together. Using the wood texturing techniques I talked about in my wood texture video. I usually prefer foam for wood texture as opposed to actual wood, but this is structurally important. I don't want the foam to snap under the weight of miniatures or people using their fingers. Really doesn't make a ton of sense to have the flat the fire facing outwards towards the customer, but otherwise you don't get to see it, so. I just love the details that tiny furniture is able to put on the food and pots. If only my paint jobs could look that good. And I'm gonna make a vegetable stall from scratch. One completely pre-assembled, one kit bashed, and one completely handmade. Didn't really have a plan here. I know that I'm taking inspiration from Eric's Hobby Workshop because he did a video like this a while back and I really liked it. I don't usually work this small with my builds. It's kind of fun taking the time to be that precise. It's also a pain in the you know what.
One of the things I appreciated about the WizKids set was the way they made the plastic like tarp cover on the top sort of undulate between the the support planks, support planks. It really emphasized the fact that this was supposed to be modeling cloth. So I did my best to use my little tongue depressor to keep it wavy. Sounds like a good life philosophy. Keep it wavy. I don't know why I always wait until I've put the cloth onto the object before painting stripes on it, but I'm a creature of habit, I suppose. Hey, use a dust mask, uh, preferably a a rebreather? Oh, that's not a rebreather. What am I talking about? I'm not scuba diving. Use a good filtration mask so you don't get grout in your lungs. Here we are. I was really impressed with the way that a few small pieces can really liven up a tiny area. This is just a uh, six by six alleyway into something that you can imagine playing a story in. All right, let's take it for a spin.